I'm going to show you the PDF update and everything new that has come with that. And I think this one's the bit more of an exciting update. And I'll also jump into this other PDF because I think that is where I can show you the last update there. But basically, again, we have all of our standard features. We have our box, we have our arrow, we have our highlighter, pencil, et cetera. So our highlighter, we have two highlighter tools. This one is to cover text specific. So uh, overdid it there. But let's say if you want to just highlight, for example, here, it'll cover the text and it's very easy um, to hide just for example. Um, and if you have a uh, our, our free highlighter tool, and so this works in tandem with something that we have here that's called the toggle disable comments. And what that means is that if you turn this on, any annotation you put will not have this text box with it anymore. So you can now, for example, do just an arrow and it's not gonna compel you to write anything about it. So I'm gonna make it a task either, but it's just gonna allow that annotation to sit there. If you wanna point attention to something, but you don't necessarily wanna clutter the screen or you don't wanna say anything about it. And so where this shines again uh, is with our pencil annotation. And when we switch it over to highlight mode, because there was uh, you know, a couple comments from our users that you know it's great that they can highlight text, but sometimes they wanna highlight things that aren't text. And so if you, We've got this highlight mode going. It's a bit thicker as well, so it's easier to go over things. And now you can essentially just highlight anywhere, uh, however you want. And without this comment function, now it's just drawing attention to something. If you if you turn this off, now you do the same thing. Your highlighter will come with a comment. So that's one very exciting update that we've had just for our PDF users who don't necessarily always want to add comments. Um, the next interesting thing that we've added here is actually a text annotation. So this is, again, you or uniquely specific in terms of use case to the, your PDFs. And this just allows users to simply just write text into the PDF. So, um, for example, if there was a signature box here, like sign your name, sign and fill, you could put in your name like John Doe. Um, and you just simply just have to click off and it'll stick. Uh, you can drag it around. You can, once you're in there, you know, you can bold stuff. You can bold italics, underline. You can change the size if you'd like. And we have this extended menu too. So default is Arial, but you can change it to any other font you choose. You can strike through and you can highlight. So that's that's the our new text feature. We are actually working right now on being able to turn this text into a task. So you can actually just have this text without a comment box, I guess, become a task. And I'll kind of explain what that means once we get into the weeds of tasks. I'm going to jump back in. Um, the other update we have is for stamps. So for stamps now, uh, before, you if you click check mark. Right now, a check mark would appear in the middle and you'd have to drag it around to the appropriate place. Now it's as simple as just clicking. So once you have picked check mark, or you know, if you have a signature like this one, perhaps, um, I'm just gonna go check mark because it's a bit simpler. Once this is activated, it means anywhere I click will generate a check mark. And this is just a lot simpler for users who maybe they have to do a lot of check marks in a lot of different places as opposed to having it generate in the middle and dragging it. Now you can just have it generate right there and then you can resize it as needed. Um, lastly, the really cool update that I wanted to show you, I'm gonna have to use a different file for this and I have that prepared on the side, is we actually have a filters update. Um, and what that entails is that we can now filter uh, based off of author and based off of source. So what that means is, if you have a lot of external reviewers, uh, you know, again, people that are not part of your organization, but you've given them a share link, you can filter them out. And now you'll only see reviews from generated from internal sources. Uh, in this case, I'm the only internal author here um, and vice versa. So if you wanted to see only external sources, my comments from internal sources would disappear and you would only see what other people have said about, um, about the document you're reviewing. Conversely, again, you can actually do it simply by single author. So if I wanted to only see on a person by person basis, because let's say I'm following up on the feedback of only one particular person, because let's say there's 
15 reviewers and my job is just to check one of them, you can do that now. And it's very easy, uh, simple. If you have to do multiple, you can batch it that way. It'll just display as many authors as there are here and you can kind of select at your own discretion. So that is a very exciting new feature that we've added um, because we've heard from follow-up reviewers that it's a bit difficult to find the specific comments that they're trying to review in the process.